guys welcome back to my channel miss sippy girl gardening and couponing it and see um to make a coming at you with not an oldie but a goodie video so you guys so we're gonna do a garden walkthrough i need to look and see what i may need to cut off trim back all that different stuff so um that's what i want to do i want this to be a cool calm type video um show you guys how i come out here and just walk through and look and take stuff if i need to take it and all that stuff y'all so i hope you guys enjoy let's get into it okay you guys so first we're going to come over here to the cucumbers and they're looking good bounce back really really well Don't look like I need to take nothing. These are the white, um, white wonder. That's some straight eights. Some more straight eights. They're looking good. Don't have to do anything to those. Oh, let me show you. This is the the plant that I sprayed yesterday with my little buck spray and look it's doing good it's doing good y'all these are the cabbage red cabbage and they are growing like crazy okay um that is just like so pretty how it's going through coming up the trellis y'all so pretty um this is the matter of fact i said did i say this was cabbage this is the um what is it purple cauliflower purple cauliflower is what we sprayed yesterday um so yeah these are my green cabbage they are doing so good even those doing so well the broccoli gonna be ready soon y'all this is the broccoli from the other day when I did the tour. And now, that one is getting big. You gotta get those um things from the trees out. Some more red cabbage right there. Some green cabbage, y'all. Oh, it's just so peaceful to come out here. Ooh. Zucchini squash. They are looking good, y'all. So good. Crook neck squash on down here. They're looking real good. Nice, healthy leaves. <laughs> Let's check over here with the peppers and see what we got. The red bells are doing really, really good, y'all. Really, really good. What are you? I think this is the Carmen Italian. Like what that was on my leg, on my hand, y'all. This was the Carmen Italian pepper. Make sure that's gone, y'all. But all of the peppers are looking really, really good, y'all. Back here is some tomato plants. Ooh. We got flowers on that one. Okay. Flowers on that one too. They are looking nice and strong and healthy. Okay. And I'm mainly looking for anything dead on them that I can take off. Got a lot of these little 
cone things like right there that's coming from that tree. No point of me taking them out just yet because more of them falling. Um, okay, this orange bell was struggling. And I'm gonna see if I can. It was struggling when I bought it, and I just didn't come out here to. I hadn't came out here to do this, but I'm finna. I'm doing to it what I did to my other peppers. That was struggling. I was able to save them. Mama was able to save them from the frost. I just cut all that off. Remember the frost had took care of them? So we thought, and I saved all those, y'all. They went through that um, frost. I didn't lose not one of those pepper plants. I bought more just in case. But all the ones that I cut was these right here. Let's see. I had cut that one down. I had cut that one down, um, and they coming back. I had cut that one down, I cut that one down, and that one, and they all coming back, you know? So pepper and tomato land looks really, really good, y'all. Some flowers right here some tulips some pansies and some dusty millers is the name of these dusty miller okay let's go looking over here so over here is where my radishes are and they are they're flowering huh now let's see I'm curious, y'all, because I've never grew radishes before. So this one has flowered. I wonder if there anything on the end. <laughs> I'm curious to see. Let's see. I don't want to damage it too much, but if I do, that's fine. I'm sure they're not ready. But I do want to peek and see what's going on. Yeah, I don't see nothing on the end of it just yet. Yeah, put it back down. See what it does. Probably killed it. I don't see it. Now I'm gonna say it shouldn't be nothing. All the beans and stuff is coming up well. Go through here. My karabi, turnip, carrots. These are just pretty much empty buckets. I gotta take the okra out and redo those because they got okra up there. These are the seed carrots, um, the colorful seed carrots that the kids had did. Oh my goodness. Did I say carrots, y'all? I'm sorry. Potatoes. The colorful seed potatoes that the kids had did uh, a couple weeks ago. Yes, they looking really, really good. And they different colors, so of course the greenery going to be different colors. And I cannot wait. These are my iced potatoes. They look so good, right? Started those from seeds, y'all. Um... Those are the sweet potatoes. I don't know what they're doing. I'm waiting to see. Um, my beets. They're really, really good. Let's see. Do we have any beans? Yet. I don't see any beans yet. But they loving the trellis. <laughs> they loving the trellis. These are too. So. My snapdragons are blooming again. Yes, they are. They blooming again. They blooming again. Yay. Um, I had I had started some seeds in here. Jewel blend and sunflower gold. And I did the African cracker jack blend in there. And that's more snapdragon. That's gonna be the yellow one. And it's blooming again. I haven't done none to it. Some people said take it off, 
take the dead ones off, but I didn't. And they blooming again. I didn't do anything. Right here, I don't know what that is growing because I ain't put nothing in it. <laughs> I think that's a weed of some sort. This is the African um, Cracker Jack blend. I dropped seeds in there. I haven't put no seeds in, in those two though. So. Over here, and hubby's thing, his pepper thing, his peppers are coming up. Really good. I cut that one down for him and that one down for him during the frost. Cause they have hit, they took the frost bag. And they, they growing back. He had put some seeds in there. They ain't came up yet. And these are my colas. They had took the frost bag, the, these did. And I cut them all the way down. They coming back. This is some bulbs. I had did liatris mix but that is so pretty the way it's growing i started those from the bulbs these i had bought some more colas they're supposed to be different colors but they struggling they were struggling when i bought them from i think it was home depot they was really struggling and they go a raspberry bush <laughs> these are the kids plants i don't need to take anything out of there they doing just fine. And the kids that planted the beans too, y'all. <laughs> the blackberry bush. Now this blackberry bush I had last year. Okay. I had it last year. And um, I didn't do anything to it. I left it outside all winter. All winter. And she's putting on flowers. Looks nice. This one I just bought um, a couple weeks ago. To go beside it and it's putting on flowers right here the frost that took my cuckoo melon so i had to drop more seeds they're coming up nice more cuckoo melons probably gonna have to thin them out these are my aunt molly ground cherries i started from seed these are some i started from seed too Ground cherries, y'all. Ground cherries. Up here. Oh, let me show you over here. This is a raspberry. I bought a couple um a couple weeks ago. And I had broke it. <laughs> and so yeah, well, it was nothing but a stick when I bought it, so my muscadine bush. Remember, I bought it like January, February. It was just sticks. I bought it from roses. Look how much it's to grow. It was just sticks. It looked just like this when I bought it. And look what's happening. I bought this a couple weeks ago. My seedless grapes. It was just a stick, of course. So, it's not doing anything yet. Right here is my cantaloupe. They had took a hit, but they bounced back in just fine. Oh, Lord. My tree done fell. Oh, Lord. Hold on, y'all. See? This is what happened. You got to come out and look at your garden. I didn't even know. It must have been the wind. I'm going to have to get my husband to come... Put it back up. That's the the pear tree that fell into my daggone my lemon bush. Okay, I'm gonna have to get hubby to come out here. Uh, right here is my black, my blue, my blueberries. This one I had last year. Look, she going wild this year, y'all. I left her outside. I didn't do anything to her, and she got blueberries. All the look, all these blueberries. Look, y'all, I didn't do nothing to. Her. I didn't cover her or nothing. I left her right outside all winter. And I let nature do what it do. I bought this one to go on the side of her a couple weeks ago. But I had her. And I had her since last year. Hey, Ronde, glad I came out here. Can you pick that, the plum, the pear tree that fell over into the Meyer lemon bush? Had to be the wind. 
the tangerine. Y'all already know. I had cut it down last year. That's a green spider sitting there looking at me. I had to jump back. Pumquat? I don't know what she doing. <laughs> oh, the fig tree. Yeah, you had saw another fig on her, Daniel. I tried to show them the other day and I couldn't find it. This the fig tree, y'all. I didn't do nothing to it again. Left it out here all winter. It went down to just nothing but sticks. But look what it's doing. And we got figs. Yep. Y'all see it? Fig right there. I know it was one over here. But I gotta watch y'all. Last year something was eating my figs. Yep. Yep, I have more. Okay, I'm going to have to figure it out. It's probably them squirrels. Because I knew it was some on here. And the other day I tried to look at it. I'm like, I know. I saw some figs. Yep. I'm, I'm going to find out. Last year I didn't get no fig because someone was eating it. I don't think that one going to make it. Probably not. Somebody eating because you had about five. Yeah. Probably them squirrels. I'm going to figure out what it was. Last year I couldn't eat none of them, y'all, because some came out here and ate them up. So we got the pear tree back standing. And y'all know I bought this. It was just a little, little stem, looked like a little switch with nothing on it. My pomegranate tree. Okay, over here, my Molly, huh? Yeah, got peaches. Yep. My Myra lemon. She's blooming, blooming, blooming. I'm going to give her some food, losing leaves, but she putting on new ones. And I'm going to let her do what she do. I'm going to fertilize her water, and that's it. Peach tree. My husband said, you see that? I'm like, yeah. Got peaches. Peaches, y'all. Peaches. Ooh, they going to be good. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Real good, y'all. And this the plum tree. I'm waiting on the plums. I'm waiting on the plums. I'm waiting on them. I hope we finna stake that one down so he don't fall again. I'm waiting on the plant. I'm waiting on these peaches, y'all. I'm waiting on them. Yep. Waiting on them. Can't wait. And these blueberries. Ooh, y'all. Like I said, it's so relaxing. Y'all go out in y'all garden and enjoy it. Just, it's just the simple things, y'all. Now I'm up here on my deck. And many of you have saw my deck. Because I sit up here a lot when I'm doing my lives <laughs> and just from yesterday to today a lot of new growth look at that butter crunch lettuce oh my goodness that spinach right up there beside it that turnip root that's growing right there and that swiss chard beside it <laughs> georgia collars more swiss chard Ooh. Pop choy. Pop choy. Purple pop choy. I gotta redo my herbs and stuff, y'all. And I gotta get that kale that's up there. And that red lettuce right there. Right there. Amazing. The little things. And I gotta come get some of that kale, y'all. We're going to harvest all that together, probably tomorrow. My stomach ain't been feeling so hot today. It's my fault because I enjoyed some vanilla ice cream yesterday. And I didn't have no problems last night. But woke up this morning and my stomach said, yes, you did it. You tried it. <laughs> now I'm going to act a fool all day long. Maybe you'll learn your lesson. Leave the dairy alone. You know you can't have it. 
But it was good. Sure going down. Good. It was good while it was going down. Then I got some lavender. Fresh lavender. I'm going to oil that up and use that in the garden. Repurpose it. Hmm. Hubby came and inspected his pepper plants. And as you can see, peppers are coming. Yeah, I know it's peppers out there too. So yummy, yum, yum, yum. Okay, you guys, so I want to show you guys what all we have growing. Okay, so turn y'all this way. Let's see. Okay. We got all type of cucumbers, squash, and everything like that. Okay. So much. All this got to be planted. I'm going to have my work cut out for me. <laughs> but that is all right, though. That is A-OK. -okay. Ground, more ground cherry. So much. So you guys, that's the end of this garden tour. Well, not really garden tour. Walk through through the garden because you have to come out and check your garden for anything that can go wrong. So I hope you guys enjoy coming with me. Come relaxing. Whew, beautiful greenery food and everything look at that i love it i love it i love it y'all i love it i love it i love it so if you will like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you can be notified each and every time that i upload a video i want you guys to be safe and i'll see you in the next one until next time you guys happy gardening Bye.